What is going on, all you amazing viewers to be named later? How we doing today? Good morning, as you can see outside. Rare occurrence in the packed Northwest. We got more sun. Good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time of day it is when you are watching this video. <laughs> okay, pot pies are no stranger to this channel. Seriously, it's a quintessential comfort food. You feel it, man, I feel them. You smell them baking in the oven, you're like, I'm hungry. Oh, we got a weird twist on them today. We really, really, truly did. Healthy Choices here, once again, with its cafe steamers, a crustless chicken pot pie. Now, I gotta ask you, I know I'm not the smartest bulb in the row, but wouldn't that just be like chicken stew? Just saying. Pot pies need to have a crust, right? Well, I get the sauce, the gravy, the whatever, the filling that keeps everything bound together is essential as the crust. Can you have a successful pot pie without a crust that's steamed? Huh. Yeah. Whole bunch of Whiskey Tango Fox going on up in this video right here. But still, I think it was around the four buck range. Share seat was under five. For those of you who like seeing it, there's the nutritional facts right on the back of the box. What can I say? 21 grams of protein, which is 28% of your recommended daily allowance. Okay, microwave on high, four to five minutes. No need to vent the film. Oh, I swear to God. <laughs> it's just, I'm going to make this joke pretty much all the time. Stir steamed food into sauce. <sighs> Attack of the camera. As I was saying, careful, it's hot. Really? Duh. To call my really good friend, Mo, the bearded shark. What up, Mosif? Shout out to you, bro. Check that food is cooked. Enjoy. Okay. So let's do what we usually do, open it up, because you know it's never going to look like this again. It just never is. Ooh, that looks like a lot, but when it all boils down, it's not going to be. Okay. Uh, hopefully you can see that in there. There's the slits in the top bowl. That's how all the steam and everything's coming up to kind of make sure it's all cooked and all that fun stuff. Right down below is your pot pie filling. So... Yeah, I'm really curious about this one. So, there ain't nothing left to do but fire it up, cool it down, and get it in this fat boy's belly. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. It's all fired up. It's all cooled down. And I got to tell you, honestly, it almost didn't make it to this point. I walked in my kitchen about halfway through the cook process, and I went, God bless it. That smells good. Woo! All right. I will stay. There it is. All fired up, ready to go. I wish there was more of the sauce, the gravy, the whatever in there. But I get it. Healthy choice. You know, cut out the candy, cut out the carbs, cut out this. Whatever. All right, so you know how we do things here. We're going to get into this. We're going to give you my quick over thoughts on it, and we're going to have some fun. All right? I just, a pot pie without a crust. There's just something so wrong about that. Ugh. Anywho. Number one. Hey, quit falling. Uh, number two. that again. <laughs> mm. nope. Alright. Here we go after three bites. Do I think this has the potential to fill me up with one bowl? No. I really don't. Had a better potential if you had a crust. Seriously, that, that's my opinion. You had a much, much better potential. All right. I'm going to give this one one thumb up out of two. It's right there in the me pile. 
I really never had steamed chicken before from a microwave. It felt a little rough with the chewing, for lack of a better phrase. Like, you had to put more effort into it than you probably should have had to. It wasn't bad. It was different. I still can't get over them having a pot pie without a crust. The sauce was good in there. The other vegetables were pretty good. I mean, come on, steamed vegetables. They're like a staple for certain diets, right? It's great for the price point, great for the cook time. It's not going to take up that much of your lunch break, which for some people, that's always a great thing because, you know, you're just like, that. all right, get back, you know, got to get back to work. Would I buy this one again? I'll be honest, probably not. Just because it didn't blow me out of the water. It was okay. I'm glad I tried it. But it's not one I'm going to circle the wagons around and die on that hill, if you know what I mean. Okay, now we are at one of the most important parts of the video. Seriously, really, really, truly are. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below. Have you tried this one yet? If you did, did you like it? Did you not like it? How did you feel about no crust in a pot pie? <sighs> yeah. I know. It's a weird one. Glad I got to try it. Glad I got to bring it here to the channel for you guys. Now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that, I'm pretty damn sure that I did because it's me. Hit that big old thumbs up. Only going to give you good karma. Seriously, you put out good, you get good back. It's going to show love and support for the channel, which seriously, it's always appreciated. And it's going to smack the almighty algorithm right in the damn mouth. If you've ever been a YouTuber, you know the algorithm loves playing tricks with you. Hey, today you're popular. Nope, today we're not going to promote your videos. Eh, bah. Smack it in the mouth for me. Wake it up and go, hey, pay attention to what he's doing over here. But there we go, guys. My quick, weird look at healthy choices, cafe steamers, crustless chicken pot pie. I still can't believe I had a pot pie without a crust. It just feels dirty. It really does. Anywho, I want to thank you so much for watching this one. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you having a safe day today. And I look forward to seeing all of you in our very next video.